Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of a neat new little quadcopter. This is the F2RC drone. Now, if you hear that noise in the background and look around here, you can see I am no longer in California right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm back in Pennsylvania. Just came back to hear the sound of those cicadas. Doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> Anyways, the F2RC is a new crony. Uh, that's a little quadcopter somewhere sized between a micro and a mini. Uh, a low-cost quadcopter, I believe it's under $20 if you look around. And um, additionally, what I like about this is, uh, well, they claim it's waterproof. Well, when they mean waterproof, they mean you can dunk this in water and fish it out of the bottom of the lake later. And if you let it dry out, it should still fly because the circuit board and the motors are all uh, protected against uh, water corrosion. So, you know, this should be able to fly if you get it stuck in the rain or leave it out in the rain. You should be able to fly it again later. I don't know about the controller now. The controller, if you get it stuck in the rain, might fail on you. But the quadcopter itself is supposed to be water resistant. Um, additionally, it comes with a uh, little camera plug. So there is a camera version of this out there or planned in the future. What I like about having this three-prong camera plug if you notice, it's a three-prong camera plug, which means it should work with X5C cameras and uh, X5C camera plugs. And I plan and hope to do in the future is to attach a little EF01 camera onto the top of this and turn this into a little FPV racer, crony-sized FPV racer, which should be cool in itself. And one more important thing about this, this is really has very pretty lights for uh, night flying. If you notice, the LEDs they're just above these white landing gear and at night it lights up these landing gear just something really cool and i'll have to demonstrate that in a, a follow-on video or at the end of this video clip here to show you how this looks at night very nice night flyer additionally its motors its motors are not little cordless motors if uh, you can't see in there but they're more similar to like a v262 a tarantula motor only on a small scale they are not cordless which means these don't spin freely you know, like a pinwheel, like uh, the other little cordless motors like on an X5C. Um, there is some resistance in turning these. So uh, they are unusual in this size of a quadcopter. Uh, the batteries this uses is your standard little uh, 450, 300 to 450 milliamp per hour white low C battery, you know, generic white low Cs. You can find those just about anywhere. So most, most you know, you are not going to have a problem finding replacement batteries for this particular quadcopter. It includes a little on-off switch and the front LEDs on this to help you uh, maintain orientation are very, very bright. Um, they actually flash in a rapid sequence at, uh, <laughs> at the beginning of this. So if you, uh, you do have seizure problems, be careful of these front lights. They do flash at a sequence that might induce such uh, seizures on people. Um, it's very bright and very rapid flashing, so be careful with that. Okay, uh, let's go over the transmitter. Transmitter, basic transmitter. This one is for rates. This button here is for activating flips, telling in which direction to flip. Um, the buttons are labeled, which is cool. For the camera version, quad cutter, this is for your camera. This is for video, start and stop in the video. Left and right trim. This is starting headless mode here. And this is one key return. And if you hold it down, you can turn off the lights to save uh, battery power. And these are trim buttons here. So we are ready to go. Let's turn on the quadcopter with its on-off switch. And just a quick see, don't <laughs> those lights are dangerous for certain people. I know that. You know, uh, some people will have problems with that. Might have problems with the bright rapid flashing of that, but let's put this into the air and see how it flies. Okay, trimming it up. Very stable little quadcopter. Okay, I am in beginner's rate. This supposedly has a range of 100 meters, but let me demonstrate what happens if you turn off the transmitter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, and the lights are flashing. So it comes down and eventually stops. Let's do that again. Let's take it up a little bit higher. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, and see how it lands itself? <laughs> so it gradually descends. 
I gave it a little bit of throttle to show you that once you lose control of the quadcopter, it will descend. Okay, let's go to higher rate. This is intermediate. Let's bring it by. Flip. You can't do barrel rolls or rolls. I tried to do a roll there. Expert rate. Very nimble. Very nimble little quad. That's great. Great funnels on this. Going back to beginner rate. That's us bowed. Okay, going out, pulling back, pulling left, and pulling right. Going out to headless mode bearing, you're going to hit one key return. One key return, and it's flying back in that general direction there. Going back up that way. Press one key return one more time. So I guess that's the headless mode direction. And here it comes back. Its lights are flashing kind of early. Um, I don't see my, feel any sluggishness out of this. Coming out of headless mode to go back to normal flying. Now I am going to land it. I want to see if I can calibrate it. Let's say that should be relatively flat and level. To the left, to the right. Out. Oh, okay, there goes the calibration. <laughs> A little bit of a breeze demonstrating that it is stable and then going out intermediate let's see if we can make it to the end of the field there the baseball field here we're close to it yep so the range on this is good now this is a fast little quad how about it this is expert That's really, really good pitch. <laughs> so, putting a uh, EFO1 camera on this should be very interesting. Setting this out and doing FPV with this. Back to intermediate. So, if you're looking for a cheap little beginner's quad with superb lighting, this might be it for you. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Enjoyable little quad. There's my rental car here. I flew in here. Got a good deal from American Airlines to come to Pennsylvania again. So that's why I'm here. To end the summer. Away from the hot desert. My wife gave me permission to come without her. <laughs> Thanks, son. I don't know if my dog agreed. Yeah, those lights are still blinking. They blink for a long time. So, the LVC warning on this isn't too accurate. <laughs> Let's bring it in close again. Do I get power for a flip again? No, no more power for flipping. So, it is probably is getting low, although it feels like it's got power. I guess when the LVC lights start blinking, and won't let you flip anywhere, but oh, there we go. That's the flight time. So overall, nice little crony. I, I enjoyed flying it. Um, a lot of fun, very maneuverable, excellent lighting, and I'm hoping it'll be a great little uh, FPV racer once I put a EFO-1 camera on top of it. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out from uh, Lake City Park, Community Park in Lake City, Pennsylvania. Hope you enjoyed this flight. I'll see you. I wasn't kidding about those lights. <laughs> okay, night flying, the F2 RC. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Put it on a flat level surface. Transmitter on. Binding. Very bright light, huh?
And there goes blinking. Enough for you to see the lights. But like I said, you know, very, very bright. Very, very colorful. Just let you see them. So, again, F2RC. Really cool, little cheap, little quadcopter. Hope you enjoyed it. Quadcopter 101, signing out.